Hey, my name is Ashley. I am a radio announcer and a performer. I sing, I dance, I do theater, and I obviously love traveling. I absolutely love Australia. Can't go there now, but I do love traveling around Malaysia as well. We have some of the best beaches and that's my ideal destination. I love diving. I just got into that a couple of years ago. I've always wanted to do it because I love the ocean, but I just managed to get my advanced open water, so I can do more. And now's the best time to do it, so. Um, I started at the start of 2019, so about just over a year, a year and a half. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So initially we were still going in to the studio to do the show live. But then I think when things started getting serious and getting bad, then we all had to work from home. So that was really different because we've never done that before. We I literally broadcasted from my living room. <laughs> so it was, a new, it was a new experience for everyone, yeah. Um, well, obviously all my travel plans got canceled. Um, my cousins were supposed to get married. My cousin in Australia was supposed to get married at the end of the year. The whole family was supposed to come to Penang, but obviously that's not happening. And then my cousin in England was supposed to get married, but that's postponed until next year as well and me and my mom can't go to England, so I don't know. Everything's just up in the air, yeah. Oh, for sure. So as soon as we could travel domestically, I made my first dive trip because I love diving. So now that I have my free weekends, I make it a point to go diving every few weeks. You know, so as much as I can, I'm definitely getting out of kale. <laughs> oh, my favorite dive spots. Mm, well, I obviously do Pohentian and Tioman a lot, um, but I haven't done Tengol yet. That's next on my list. Um, but I can't, I can't decide between Pohentian and Tioman. They're both great. Um, there's, there's so many, of course, but off the top of my head. Um, in 2016, if I'm not mistaken, me and a bunch of my friends won a competition. So we got sponsored to go all the way to Australia and we went to Byron Bay and it was absolutely beautiful. Before that, I had not been anywhere other than Melbourne. So it was really different. I got to be by the beach um, and huge artists like The Strokes. Um, I'm so excited, like it was just absolutely amazing. And then I want to show you this picture, but we were all like, we brought the big Malaysian flag with us. We're like, woo, we're from Malaysia. It was great. Um, so that's one. Um, another one was when I went to Sydney for New Year's. So 2020 made, it was a really great start to the year and I thought it was going to be amazing. Fresh start, New Year. And then this happened. <laughs> but that's life. It throws things at you and you just have to adapt. Um, but that was great because it was my first time to Sydney. Um, yeah, and I really miss it. I hope I can go back soon. And um, I also went to Penang a few weeks ago with my parents when we were allowed to travel because my dad's from Penang. So that was great because I have a bunch of friends living there and they took me kayaking. Uh, so we, I don't know where we went. We went to this little, like little island off Tanjung Bunga and I saw otters and it was, it was beautiful, like best, best Penang trip ever. And of course, all my diving, diving trips, Perhentian, Tioman, um, my very first shot of a turtle that I took, you know, like, cause I just got my GoPro and um, my instructor would, would make fun of me because I'd be scared to go close to it. But when they're eating, you can kind of get pretty close. So I've got some great shots um, of turtles and they're my favorite things to capture. So yeah, always very memorable. Ah, I think we all need to just not lose hope and just hang in there. I know it's changed um, a lot of things, like everything's uncertain, it's definitely unprecedented times, but I think it's made us just kind of stop and be grateful for the things that we do have 
and get to know ourselves better, especially when we had to stay at home, you know, on our own. So I think it's just try to stay as positive as you can, hang in there, it's not for forever and we're gonna get through this. <laughs> Off the top of my head, a flounder fish. Do you know what a flounder fish is? Yeah, 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 it's like a flat. It's a flat fish that lives at the bottom of the sea and it doesn't even look like a fish, it's flat and it's got like one eyeball on the top. It's weird, it's weird, yeah.